thought we'd cut in here for a second to tell you the reason that we're in Scottsdale. Right, why were we all the way out there? Uh, well, Sarah, that's this guy right here. Yeah, we were there to help Bourbon Lore celebrate the launch of their Legends of American Whiskey book. Quite the big book here. Really nice holiday gift if you're thinking about it. A lot of fun stories in there from Mason Walker and Clay Risen. Definitely recommend checking it out. You can go to bourbonlore.com and find your copy. Now we'll have a video uh, out uh, at some point that recaps it and I think we may also mm -hmm. be talking a little bit more vintage whiskey in that Ooh. episode so be on the lookout for that but uh, yeah that's why we were out there mm -hmm. but of course anytime we go to a new place we love to do some we bourbon, gotta do a bourbon hunt so let's get back to the hunt AJ's fine food was our first stop and what could we really expect from a grocery store well a lot more than we expected we checked out the glass case first to find some higher-end offerings from preservation Dickel Bar Sound Bourbon Company, Jack Daniels, and even some nice Irish and Scotch whiskey. In the aisle, we found a good mix of the standards like Russell's Reserve, mixed in with some higher end offerings from Jefferson's, Kentucky Owl, and Woodford. Solid rye selection too. And judging from the kinds of cars we've been seeing around, we were expecting some higher prices, but that wasn't the case here. I mean, $92 is on the higher side for Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, but we've seen it for much higher. This place had their own single barrel picks as well, including this one, which I just have to read. Just a bit inside. Buffalo Trace, on sale and in two sizes, plus it's not limit one and there's plenty on the shelf. We're not in Kentucky anymore. Hey, we're coming to you from the future, but uh, recapping our visit to AJ's Fine Foods. Um, it was actually just around the corner from the hotel. I walked over there to get a kombucha and walked in and was like, whoa, they have a liquor and wine selection. They so I was sure like, did. Chad, this can be our first stop. Mm -hmm. So we walked over there and checked out what they had. I mean, for what is essentially like a fresh market from where we're from or I don't know, like a smaller Whole Foods or something. I wasn't expecting much, but they, they had quite the selection. They sure did. Yeah, good prices, good selection. Mm -hmm. Like that's another place that I wish we had back home because we'd be going there a lot. Yeah. Yeah, pretty nice place. All right, before we get on with more of the hunt, we want to hit pause because we want to tell you about today's sponsor, which is Zbiotics. When we go to events like these and we know there's going to be pores that we can't resist, but we also can't risk not feeling our best the next day, we rely on Zbiotics to help us out. Free alcohol is the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It was invented by PhD scientists to tackle rough mornings after drinking. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. It's this byproduct, not dehydration, that's to blame for your rough next day. Pre-alcohol produces an enzyme to break this byproduct down. Just remember to drink this probiotic before drinking alcohol. Drink responsibly and get a good night's sleep to feel your best tomorrow. With lots of holiday events coming up, there's going to be lots of opportunities for partaking. But don't let the festivities leave you feeling less than merry and let Zbiotics help you feel your best the night after drinks. So stay in the loop and make sure to go to zbiotics.com slash bourbonite or scan the QR code on the screen right now to get 15% off your first order when you use bourbonite at checkout. Or you can use our code to sign up for a subscription so you can stay prepared no matter the time or occasion. Zbiotics is backed with a 100% money back guarantee. So if you're unsatisfied for any reason, you can get a full refund, no questions asked. Remember to go to zbiotics.com slash bourbonite and use code bourbonite for 15% off your first order. Thanks to Zbiotics for sponsoring today's episode. Will our luck continue at Cork and Bottle Liquor? Well, off to an okay start. Another place with larceny and Elijah Craig barrel proof, and that's $84.99 if you can't read it. Kosher Rye and more Buffalo Trace. Sweetens Cove, Tennessee, haven't seen that for a while. And look, Eagle Rare for $70. While still higher than it needs to be, it's much better than the 100 bucks that some places in Kentucky ask for it. I guess this place decided they don't like Metallica anymore because it's 50% off anything blackened? That's a perfect time to grab this Wes Henderson collab. The usual suspects behind the counter, and also, as usual, they aren't priced. All except for the pappies? And they're on sale? Okay, let's see what we got. $750 for a RIP 10 and up to $3,000 for a 20 year. Not much of a sale now, is it? The Rock Hill has a sticker on it, but we can't quite see it. I judged it from the outside and I shouldn't have. They actually didn't have a bad selection. Yeah, what do we yeah. always say? I don't, yeah. don't do that. Yeah. Um, they had some decent stuff. You know, stuff behind the counter, of course. I asked the Jack Daniels 10 year was 150, I think. Mm. And then that um, Rock Hill Farms was 400. 
but I mean, seen it for more. So. That's true. You know, they had some, some okay stuff in the shop as well. Didn't take anything home. We actually yeah. did bring uh, checked bags this time, so Chad doesn't have to play for tent shopping. Tower Liquor was our first true museum store, meaning they had all sorts of sought after and unicorn bottles, but they were still there for a reason. Case in point, $99 for small batch, $199 for single barrel, and $399 for the rye in E.H. Taylor, not to mention $4,000 for warehouse C and $999 for barrel proof bourbon and rye. $200 for stag, $300 for Knob Creek 18 year, $70 for toasted rye, and even $33 for Buffalo Trace. But the hits kept coming, $3,000 for Eagle Rare 17. Woof. 250 for grain to glass? But why? $300 for Remus Repeal Reserve? Not exactly a best buy, now is it? Buy as in B-U-Y, get it? $600 for Rock Hill Farms. Okay, I think we've seen enough. Tower Liquor. Uh, did you just I did. something? <laughs> Cue the Who music. Um, Rides here. Rides here, so talk to you later. Bye-bye. Miss you. All right, a little bit later, but continuing what we were saying um, about the last place. Tower, everything you could want, basically, but... But you nothing gotta, you could buy, no. You gotta, pay, you know, you gotta pay for it. Nothing so. I could buy. Another one of those places. Okay, so we're here in the hotel. Very nice hotel. We realized that we've never really outlined our, like, methodology or how we approach a bourbon hunt. If you don't want to hear any of this, I get it. That's why we put chapter marks down there so you can hop around. But otherwise, we kind of look at it like this. If on one extreme you have a person who does zero research, they might just be in a town and they might hit a couple of stores that are in like walking distance, that would be this extreme. Then over here on this extreme would be someone who does massive amounts of research. They get recommendations from locals and then they only hit those stores and none others. So the way that we approach bourbon hunting is more here in the middle, maybe a little bit more to this side because if you're here watching a hunting video, you're probably, you know, more on this side than you are over here on this one. We do uh, some research, but not like a massive amount. You know, we'll occasionally, if we know a local, we'll ask them like, hey, what stores should we definitely hit, not miss? But generally, we're limited by a couple of things. I'm gonna take St. Louis uh, as an example. We were there first and foremost for the St. Louis Bourbon Festival. They invited us there. While we were there, we had uh, two afternoons where we could go out and do some bourbon hunting. So we didn't have our car and we didn't have a rental car. So we were limited to ride sharing. So we hit, I think it was six stores, more in the area of where we were to our, our hotel, where we were staying. There was a, a shop that was about 30 minutes away that we wanted to get to, but we had to kind of weigh it. Are we gonna spend 30 minutes there, 30 minutes back? That's an uh, hour in travel right there to hit that one store, or should we hit three more stores that we can get to uh, a lot quicker? We chose that. So we could have more of a representation of uh, the town. Now, we can see how there could be an argument of, well, you should really just be hitting those stores with the best recommendations. And yes, if we approached bourbon hunting in that way, like if our videos were going to St. Louis, make sure you hit these stores only, like these are the best vetted stores. But that, that's not how we're doing it. It's like if you're dropped in this area, this is our experience. More like a, more like a documentary, right? And we wanna show the good, and we want to show the bad. It's not our goal to make any town look bad, but it's also not our goal to make a town look good. It's to make it look accurate. And we've also found in our time doing this, it's the stores that look kind of sketchy or small or just like they won't have anything good in there that a lot of times you find that diamond in the rough. So if you're only going to those stores with the shiny uh, reputation and well, you might miss out something dusty sitting on the bottom of a shelf or something way up on the top in one of these other, you know, smaller, little stores so that's why we try to do a, a, a good like cross-section i guess is, is what i'm getting at here so anyway that's how we approach bourbon hunting hope that helps we realize we never really spelled that out so we wanted to get that out there to you all right now let's get on with the hunt after that last place we thought it was a good idea to see how a big box store operates out here so we went to total wine 
Right off the bat, we see a Hancock's Reserve, and only one left! These aren't carried in Kentucky, so I grabbed it. Oh, and there's another one in the case, so not the last one, okay. But also some standard glass case fare, including an 18-year Dickel for $4.90? Whoa. Decent price on Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, and they have the PGA Edition too, along with the pick and the toasted barrel. Alright, $24 for Buffalo Trace, but it's limit one here? Seems unnecessary. And so does this! $130 for Booker's? Are you kidding me? And limit one? How about limit none? No thank you. Oh, okay, so these just sit around on the shelf here, huh? So placing it in the glass case and up front by the registers is just a marketing move. Got it. I'm gonna say that's not the reason why I got it. I'm gonna say it wasn't the marketing. It's because it's not carried in Kentucky. That's my story anyway. Here's the hearts release and what the new private selection bottles look like now. Great price for a 12 year old. Good job, Knob Creek. These bottles here from Saints Alley are really good. And this still Austin bottled and bond is fantastic. We reviewed it a while ago and it's limited. So I'm surprised to see it here, but grab one if you get the chance. More Remus Repeal, but it's last year's. And speaking of last year's... Oh, haven't seen this back home in forever, so let's grab it. Do they have any Sazerac Rye? Uh, yeah. Now before I talk about our next stop, would you just look at that mountain over there? Look at that sunset on that mountain. You'll have to, you'll have to turn around and see it, Chad. It's okay, you'll get it in the next shot. You'll find it. I'll get it, I'll get um, it later. But we are uh, about to go into Trevor's uh, in Arcadia, and that has been the most recommended place of anywhere. Honestly, mm -hmm. really the only recommended place. Right. When we talk about liquor stores out here, apparently it's got food, it's got a bar, it's got a liquor store. It's, it's got it all. Do you want it? It's got it. Um, so I have really high expectations for this one, so excited to see what's in store for us at Trevor's. But don't forget to show them that mountain. I'll show them. Look, here's a mountain. Show them that mountain. We forgot to get an exterior shot, but you already know that Trevor's was next. Uh, a store with behind-the-counter bottles, and they're all priced. So refreshing. These five bottles are part of a monthly raffle. More on that later. $90 seems to be the average price of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof in Scottsdale, and they had plenty of them, along with this store pick. Speaking of picks, this is the first time we've seen a pick of the Wild Turkey 101 Single Barrel Rye, as there weren't very many of these done. They had quite the stock on Single Barrel picks, with a lot being available at their tasting bar, but the picks weren't the only thing available. This port barrel finished Isaac Bowman is pretty hit or miss back in Kentucky. $75 for a Rebel 10 year? If you can find it back home, it's $99 at the minimum, so let's grab one. I want it. I, 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 I want it, do but I can't. It? Do, do, we, do, we, do we? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, 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 I don't know. Should we get the Redwood Empire Pipe Dream Cast Strength? Is this new? A bottled and bond few? Yeah, that rhymes. We just got a Booker's 2024-03 back home the other day, or we might have grabbed one here, though we try to keep it at $99 or under as a rule. Oh, you don't see Saz Rye single barrel picks real often. Nice to see one here. All right, let's look around. At the tasting bar, we tried their Wild Turkey 101 Rye Pick and their Elliott Brothers Reserve 10 Year. Both amazing, but for the money, we're gonna go with the Wild Turkey Rye. We also sampled some of their Dark Arts picks and they were all fantastic, along with some local Arizona whiskeys, which were, well, they were fine. Then we had a beer at their bar and thought about getting some pizza, but the wait was a little too long. But check out this bar selection. All right, day number two. Last time you saw us, we were at Trevor's. Mm. When we left there, it was dark, so we didn't do uh, the recap. Yeah, and it was also like super crowded. It was a really happening spot. Yeah. It seemed like that's where everybody wanted to be, and we stayed for a while. We had a beer. We, did. we enjoyed the tasting bar. We took a look around. Tried to get some pizza, <laughs> but it was yeah, super busy. Great store. Uh, we don't have anything like that back home. I wish we did. Uh, but really neat store because you could try just about 
anything mm -hmm. they had there, especially their picks. Super friendly staff. Mm -hmm. You know, they let us hang out at the tasting bar for a while. Not that they overserved us. It was <laughs> tiny pores, but Trevor's, can you come to Kentucky? Because I, I really liked it. I'd like them to come come our way. That's one that if you're here, you should try not to, not to miss. Now, let's look at this view behind us. Oh. Look at that. Isn't that <laughs> nice? Wow. Ooh, Exposure ah. back on us. Yeah. Bing. <laughs> Oh, now you've done it. Well, you've right. made it angry. We're, we're um, done now. We have a little bit of time today before we go to the um, Legends of American Whiskey book launch event with Bourbon Lore and our other Whiskey Tube and Whiskey Blog friends. So I think maybe we'll hit a couple more stores. I don't know. I kind of want to do a little shopping, exploring. We'll see what we can get into. A store so nice, we had to visit it twice. But not really, because this is a different Trevor's location. These stores are loving their dark art single barrels. Haven't seen this Guadalupe expression of Garrison Brothers before. This store also had more of the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof A124 and their single barrel pick, both $89.99. And remember that Heaven Hill grain to glass that was $250 a couple stores ago? It's just $10 over the suggested price of $99 here. This is new to us, Whiskey in the Wild, complete with its own flask. Cool concept. Overall, this store was very similar to the other location, but this one didn't have a food component to it. Oh, but look, the raffle situation is a little different. Looks like master distiller Connor O'Driscoll has been here signing some bottles, including the Heaven Hill 18 year. Sarah and I both entered the raffle once we heard it was going to be drawn the next morning. After another beer, we were good to go. Well, you know, we've been lucky in the past mm -hmm. with drawings uh, and so forth, but um, I guess maybe you could say our luck has uh, dried up the past couple of years, but we did get a call the morning that we were leaving. That's right. We got a call from the second Trevor's location that we visited where we had purchased and entered for the raffle, which just happened to be the day that we were leaving with the you know best of hopes in mind. Why not? And they called me and I had been drawn, which was awesome. Did we get that bottle though? No, we did not. Well, let us explain why. Let so, it, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Let us explain. <laughs> <laughs> so we had all intentions of uh, going. It was the uh, Elijah Craig 18 to, to go and get that. Plus, it was signed by Connor, which is nice. But we had not packed our suitcases yet, and we had the bottles from the hunt. We had the bottles from the Bourbon Lore event. Which we weren't expecting. Exactly. And, two books. <laughs> and two books. Yeah, those are almost five pounds each. We always bring a uh, luggage weight uh, with us. It's just a little hanger thing. That's nice. So we said, hey, let's pack. Let's weigh, and then we'll decide. We'll make a decision. We packed, we weighed, we were both over. Now you're like, hey, if you're both over, what's one more bottle? Well, we didn't really have <laughs> even room for one bottle. Right. Plus, Sarah, there was a travel time. Sure, there's the Uber to the store and back to the hotel to get our luggage and then to the airport, which all kind of, you know, that cost plus the bottle, plus the added overweight bags, and then also the risk of potentially cutting it too close and missing our flight, which is another expense that we just didn't really want to risk. Just so couldn't justify it. Ultimately, we already have an Elijah Craig 18 in our library, so, you know, no harm to us. But we figured, why not just throw that fish back and let somebody else catch it? You know, good bourbon, comma, pay it forward. Star Liquor and Convenience was our last stop, and how convenient that we now have a new high price on E.H. Taylor Single Barrel. Wow, $350. Some normal prices on things like Smoke Wagon and some Knob Creek Expressions. Not the 18-year, though. But a lower price on the Stag here and the Eagle Rare is also $80, which just reinforces how missed price it is in many places in Kentucky. We've seen Larceny Barrel Proof everywhere on this trip, and it hasn't been over $90 anywhere. $100 for this Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, though, I guess that makes sense at this store. More Remus Repeal, and a Rebel 10-year is $170 here. That's $95 higher than the last store. You could buy two bottles for that. Jeez. $90 for a small batch makes a little more sense, but it's still too high. $80 for a Sweet Wheat, though. Wish we had this store back during our 1792 challenge hunt where we couldn't find a Sweet Wheat or 12-year anywhere in Kentucky for under $150. Star liquor, okay. Was it the star? No. It angle rare for 80, also not unheard right. of. Not what I would want to pay, but not unheard of. But you can pay more for it back home. That's true. <laughs> I guess we better get on back to the hotel and get changed so we can go to this bourbon lore uh, Legends launch. of American Whiskey book launch. Gotta get all fancy for that. See so right. what we get to try there. 
And here are a few bottles that were not uh, shown in the hunt because mm -hmm. we didn't hunt them. Uh, they were from the Bourbon Lore they came uh, to us. <laughs> event. So this goes in here, but uh, right. yeah. So it's a 17 year um, Bourbon Lore Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Mm -hmm. And then their collaboration with the Bardstown Bourbon Company, which is in here. Yeah. Plus the two books. <laughs> plus the two books, plus the other bottles we got on the hunt. So maybe yeah. now you can see why we weren't able to go pick up that Elijah Craig 18 that we won the right to purchase. So Sarah, um, perceptions on Scottsdale, you know, I heard that, uh, you know, it's a sort of a, a more affluent area. We were thinking maybe the stores might be fancier, might be higher priced. Sure, we did see, you know, especially one museum store, but I feel like yeah. every city's every got city. a museum store. For the most part, I felt like the prices were uh, great, sometimes um, better than they are here in Kentucky, as was the selection, depending on what we're talking about. What yeah, think? I think they were pretty, you know, standard, pretty expected um, from what we've seen in other areas and other stores. Like you said, I was not surprised, I guess happily surprised to not see everything be, you know, through the roof just based on it being such a big city. Um, I thought they had a great selection and uh, wouldn't mind to go back to Trevor's if I was there. I want to try that pizza. <laughs> All right, so let's go through the total of what we got on our Scottsdale hunt. We picked up the Hancock's Reserve for $99.99, the WB Saffle for $61.99, and the Rebel Yell 10-year for $74.99. Plus the Bourbon Lore Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, the Woodwork Collective, 17-year-old aged in New American White Oak and New Japanese Mizunara Oak, and the Bardstown Bourbon Company Bourbon Lore Collaborative Series for no charge, which was very, very nice. Bringing our total to $236.97 before tax. Then there's some other bottles that we likely would have picked up if we'd had better suitcase management which were the Black and Wes Henderson collaboration for $54.99 after that 50% discount, a backup bottle that's still lost on Bottled and Bond for $79.99, the Wild Turkey 101 Rye Trevor's Single Barrel Pick for $81.99, the Redwood Empire Pipe Dream Cast Strength, which we'll eventually get around to buying for $69.99, and our raffle win, the Elijah Craig 18 Year for $199.99 which would have added another $486.95 before tax to our total, which would have made our grand total $723.92 before tax. Well, that'll do it for us. Uh, hey, if you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. Hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, until next time, hunt more bourbon.